No, sir. He is way behind me. I'm in the front. And they're about to walk him any second. It looks like her name's gonna be Berta Romano. M Y R T A first name Berta. One more time, Nick. What was that? Berta M Y R T A Romano. R O M A N O S. Romanos? Yeah, the first name is the same. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. R O M A N O S. It's the mother of the younger sister. No, it's not connected, it's not connected. Presser. already set up for the presser.
for Dr. Galbar. Walking the elevator, so it should be about, uh, about one more On the other side, right? Okay. Keep going. Watch out, guys. Watch out. How have you been able to sleep at night? Watch out, guys. Watch out, guys. Watch out, guys.
Ready? Good afternoon, thank you for being here. Uh, we're gonna provide you with an update on the Savannah Soto and Matthew Guetta case. Uh, first and foremost, once again, SAPD wants to extend our condolences to the family of Savannah and Matthew. Uh, today, as you saw, we just made another arrest. This is the third arrest in this case. Uh, just to recap, back on December 23rd, uh, Leon Valley PD reported that Savannah and Matthew Guetta, were, they were reported missing to their jurisdiction. On December 26, uh, SAPD officers received a call for a disturbance. When those officers made that location, they discovered the bodies of Savannah Soto and Matthew Guetta. Uh, they were found deceased in their vehicle, the Kia Optima that had also been reported missing. Since then, our homicide unit has done an outstanding job in following this case. Uh, they followed every lead. They were able to get surveillance video, which led them uh, to these arrests that were made. On January 3rd, we made two arrests, 19-year-old Christopher Preciado and 53-year-old Ramon Preciado. There was a lot of information on social media that there was a third individual involved. Our homicide detectives were aware of that. However, we were looking for enough probable cause to make that arrest and to present the best case forward to the DA's office. Today, that happened. They were able to develop enough evidence to charge 47-year-old Mirta Romanos, that's M-Y-R-T-A-R-A-M-A-N-O-S. Uh, she is believed to be, I'm not sure exactly what the relationship is, but maybe a stepmother uh, to Christopher, 19-year-old Christopher. Uh, she is being charged with three felonies, uh, the first one being alter, destroy, conceal a human corpse, which is a second degree felony. She's also being charged with abusive corpse, which is a state jail felony and a third charge, tampering with evidence. Uh, through our forensic uh, unit, we were able to develop information from surveillance video uh, that shows Ms. Romanos involved the night of the murder. Uh, that video surveillance shows her at the home right after the murders, and she was seen on video surveillance leaving in that black truck that we all saw on the surveillance video. Uh, and then returning to her home with uh, Christopher and Ramon in that truck. At this time, I'll take any questions that you might have. It was her weapon, right? Excuse me? They matched her weapon to the ballistics? Right, that tampering uh, with evidence, uh, from what we understand, she stated that was her gun. Um, so we do know that that was her weapon. And do they believe uh, they were killed in that I, I'm not sure exactly where, we haven't released any of that information. I'm not sure what the circumstances were, but we do know she was involved in helping uh, get rid of the evidence concerning those bodies. On the third, you guys were under the impression that there were only two suspects or had said that there were two suspects that were arrested? No, our, our homicide detectives were aware early on in the investigation that there wasn't a third person involved. Uh, we know that from the sur video surveillance when there is that towel that everyone's talked about being thrown. Uh, at that time, we just didn't have enough evidence to say that that was Miss uh, Mirtha Romanos. But like I said, since then, they've developed enough evidence from surveillance video from the home showing her leaving with the two. Uh, she gets into that truck, and then when they return to the home, it's her, Christopher, and Ramon in that truck. Had she called you guys in the past week to come to the house at all? Because I know there's been some reports of vandalism there. Uh, I'm not aware of any of that. As of right now, there even the impression there are any more suspects? At this time, we're confident that there's no more suspects. At this time, we're we're confident that these were the three individuals that were involved in this case. Do you believe this is connected somehow to a larger crime or anything like that? No, we, we don't have any information to lead us to believe that. Uh, we do know that there was, I guess, a transaction earlier in that night. What happened and transpired was Matthew Guetta and Savannah were killed. So you guys still don't know where they were killed, like if it was at like home or somewhere else? We believe it was in that area, right near their home. How cooperative was she? How cooperative was she? Uh, you know, I know there was a search warrant that was issued a few days ago. Um, there was a search warrant, so they, they had the authority to go into that home. Uh, today, I don't believe she said much. What happened to the towel? I don't have that information. Any other questions? questions? Did she 
confess today? Uh, she wasn't cooperative today. Thank you, guys. Thank you so she's you. a step right? We believe she's a stepmom. Not, okay. not step biological. Not. biological not. Mother. Yeah, that's Is she still married to Ramon? Or? Uh, I, I don't know if that's a common law or they're living together, okay. but I don't believe they're legally married. But I, I'm married. not for sure. Okay. She did live. Th them three did live in the house okay. together. Right, yeah. So now you guys are identifying as stepmother. Correct. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Buenas tardes, el Sargento Washington Moscoso, W A S H I N G T O N M O S C O S O. So, esta tarde, uh, bueno, este, este se trata del caso del uh, ases asesinato de Savannah Soto y Matthew Guerra. Um, ya sabemos todo lo que pasó antes. Hoy, uh, los detectives tenían suficiente evidencia para hacer un arresto a la, tersor, a, a la tercer sospechosa en que, que se trata de este caso. Hoy arrestamos a Mirta Romanos, de 47 años. Uh, ella va a ser cargada con tres cuentas um, de, de delitos may mayores. Um, alter, destroy, or conceal a human corpse, abuse of a corpse, and a tampering with evidence. Todos son delitos uh, mayores. Uh, en la noche, bueno, cuando, cuando nosotros, uh, los, nuestros detectives uh, obtuvieron el, el surveillance, el video de, de surveillance que tenía la camioneta, cuando uh, estaban, estaban tratando de esconder los cuerpos de, los, de, los, de las víctimas, uh, todos sabíamos que había una tercera, tercera persona dentro del, de la troca que, que como tiró una toalla o algo. Um, siempre sabíamos esto. Uh, teníamos la idea que era, era la tercera persona, pero no teníamos suficiente evidencia para cargar a esa persona con, el, con los delitos. Hoy, um, de, um, nuestros detectives tenían suficiente evidencia um, para cargar la, la madrastra, que creemos que es la madrastra de Christopher, esposa o common law, novia de Ramón. Ah, ¿Tienen preguntas? ¿Por qué demoró tanto para tener ese arresto? No, no teníamos... Uh, ella... Siempre sabíamos que era una persona. Pensábamos que er, era esta señora uh, Romanos. Uh, finalmente teníamos suficiente evidencia para cargarlo con eso. ¿Cuándo tuvieron esa evidencia? Parece que hoy. Okay. Hoy, hoy fue, fue cuando... Uh, los detectives fueron a obtener el, el orden de arresto y hoy fueron y la arrestaron sin, sin incidente. ¿El arresto sí, fue sin incidente? Sin incidente, en la casa de, de ellos. ¿Está cooperando? ¿Habló con ustedes? Ella no, no estaba co uh, cooperando con la investigación hoy, uh, eh, pero sí uh, el arresto fue sin incidente y, y um, cuando, cuando lo traemos aquí no habló con los detectives. So, ya había estado cooperando con ustedes. ¿Qué, le, ¿Qué les dio a entender? ¿Qué evidencia les dio a entender que ella era la persona Por, que uh, en Finalmente, es, teníamos uh, evidencia de video que vimos a ella entrar a la camioneta con Ramón, o bueno, con una persona, con Ramón, 
en la noche que, que ocurrió los asesinatos y cuando regresaron los tres, Ramón, Christopher y ella salieron de la camioneta. ¿Nos puede decir un poquito de la arma que sí fue? Sí, uh, la, bueno, una de las cargas que, que, la vamos a, que ella fue cargada hoy fue tampering with evidence y era la pistola. La pistola, uh, ella es la dueña de la pistola. Ella fue, cuando fuimos a, a recogerlo o buscarlo, estaba en el cuarto de ella, escondida. Y um, los, nuestros nuestro, um, un, la unidad de forensics um, confirmó que esa pistola fue la pistola usada en el, en el asesinato de las víctimas. ¿Alguna vez Christopher o Ramón dijeron algo acerca de ella? Dígame. ¿Alguna vez Christopher o Ramón, los dos involucrados al principio? Ella no, no. no ella, ellos nunca le involucraron a ella y ella nunca se involucró ella misma. Fue evidencia que nuestros detectives obtuvieron para, para poder hacer eso. Y el último vez que estabas aquí, cuando fue el último arresto, dices que estabas seguro que no había ningún otro sospechoso. Bueno, estábamos seguros que no estábamos, no estábamos buscando a otro porque los teníamos identificados. No podíamos hacer, hacer un arresto sin suficiente evidencia. Ya, so, si ya sabíamos quién era, bueno, teníamos... Sí, ya sabíamos quién era, pero ahora final, finalmente obtuvieron la suficiente evidencia para uh, tener un arresto. Okay, gracias. Thank you. All.